Hey guys, welcome back. Last video of 2023. So you got a Rocky Talkie and you've been told that it accesses repeaters, but when you open the manual included in the box, it says very little about how to do this. Well, rest assured it is possible and stick with me and I will show you the basic steps for enabling repeater operations. Now it is important to note that these are the basic steps for this radio. And in order to use repeaters, you need to understand a bit more about the system in general. And I suggest you go to a website such as mygmrs.com for that information as well as repeaters in your area. So we're gonna start by first verifying that this radio does not have the repeater enabled. I go from channel one to channel 20 and it does not say REP or repeater. What we're gonna do to activate the repeater mode is press the power button, turn the radio off. It's off. Hold the, the minus button here while powering up. And voila, there we go. We now have the repeater channels enabled. That's pretty cool. Now, it's important to note that if you are standing next to your friend and you do not have a known repeater connected, if you are both on a repeat channel, you will not be able to hear each other. You have to be on a simplex channel, not a repeater channel. The difference here is a simplex transmits and receives on the same frequency. A repeater channel transmits on one channel and then receives on a separate frequency, typically a specified step higher. Now, that's all good. You've got access to a repeater. What does that mean? And how do you change your radio settings to match a repeater nearby? One, you have to know what the repeater frequency and tones are. My GMRS has some listed. Um, I don't have any in my area, so I can't give you a good example, but I'm gonna teach you how to set this on your radio. Again, go to the Rocky Talkie website, download the manual for the Rocky Talkie 5 watt GMRS radio and that will have correlations between the frequencies and the channel numbers here displayed on the radio. But let's say you know that channel 22 is 462.5 or whatever megahertz, and that's the repeater you wanna access, then you press and hold the minus button, and it's going to give you the receive CT DCSS tone. You can change that with the toggle. I'm gonna to go back to zero, and I'm going to accept by hitting the push to talk. Now my transmit CT DCS tone. I would set it to whatever tone correlates to the tone in the known repeater file or website or what have you. These tones have to match the repeater. I'm not gonna get into all that. I'm just teaching you how to do it on the Rocky Talkie. I'm going to accept this by hitting the push to talk. Now, this is really important. In, the N versus W stands for narrow versus wideband. Wideband is the specified um, bandwidth for GMRS, N is the specified bandwidth for FRS. So if you're having trouble talking to an FRS radio nearby on simplex, try and set it to N. If you are only talking on GMRS or you're trying to access a repeater, make sure that that is set to W, like that, except by hitting the push to talk, and there you go. It works great. I'm gonna show you one last feature real fast. So let's start with the radio off, and I'm gonna push the plus button and the power button at the same time, and it's gonna enable my weather alert. Pretty cool, right? Well, that's all I've got for 2023. Let's hope 2024 is a more exciting and maybe less exciting, but better year. Happy New Year, y'all.